Hello my fellow KDEers or something. Today we are trying to fix this bug which I'm going to show you. If I have a virtual desktop with a maximized window, as you know, I think I keep repeating, repeating that, the panel is going to become transparent, well, sorry, opaque. Whereas if you don't have that window open, it's going to be transparent. This is adaptive transparency. However, if we do open another window, Still, you can see that it's opaque. If we switch from this workspace to this workspace, well, it's very subtle, but you can see that the panel just like uh, flashes becoming from opaque to transparent to opaque again, whereas it should just stay opaque. Actually, it's way, way more visible if I try to use the dark color scheme. So if we pop up um, system settings, which of course won't pop up because, oh, uh, here we are and we change to breeze dark, we can see that we have got a transparent panel. And then, see, it becomes from opaque to transparent and then opaque again, which is weird, it, it shouldn't happen, so we should try to fix it. Let's do it like this, just so it's even more visible. Look at the panel, you can see that it flashes I shouldn't. So why is this? Well, let's first of all give a look to the code. Just look at the panel. Right now I'm changing the um, workspace and you can see it's flashing. So the reason for this, uh, let me show you the code that manages the transparency first of all, which is, and I have to start guessing things again, in uh, containment panel, contents, UI, main QML, I think it was probably, yeah, it was the other one. I keep on confusing the panel files. See last video I've done if you uh, don't know why I confuse panels. So views panel, here we are. And we've got this thing and we've got actually two SVGs that are used for the panel. The translucent one, which is the, you know, transparent one and the opaque one, and we switch between the two. So what happens is that while whilst we're switching virtual desktops, something happens for which uh, the, well, the panel goes from being opaque to transparent and, and then opaque again. And of course, these things are set in a function which let me find is somewhere uh, around here. Where is it? This one. So th this is the issue. So what we have here is we check whether the opacity mode is zero. And what that means is we check whether we actually have adaptive transparency enabled because as you know, we can just turn it off. And if we do, then we check how many uh, windows, full screen windows there are there. If there are more than zero, then we, and we are not showing the desktop, which is what allows me to change the transparency when I do this. Then we go from for a opaque panel, otherwise transparent. Now I've done some debugging around here and the issue seems to be in the fact that this count instead of going from one to one as it's supposed to because uh, we're going from a desktop with one maximized window to another desktop with one maximized window it goes from one to zero to one for no reason whatsoever so where is this from there's this thingy which is well first of all we have this which is the task model which just, you know, tells us how many windows are there in our current uh, virtual desktop. And then we apply a sort filter model to actually sort away the minimized ones. So apparently something happens in all of this and we actually get virtual desktops with more than like one, um, more than one. Uh, sorry about that, I'm just thinking. With, um, we, we just, the, 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 the task model just goes from one window to something that's zero, maybe it's minimized, maybe it's no windows at all, things that 
we don't have windows and then back again to the actual window we are seeing. So if we try to do a bit of debugging, we can actually try to check uh, for changes on this thingy here. We can actually try to see um, when the virtual desktop is changing. And what seems weird is that it seems like it's changing virtual desktop two times because we're only supposed to receive one update when we change the virtual desktop. Instead, we, re we receive two with zero and then the correct number. So we can actually check when it's um, changing the number and it's here using, I don't know, I don't remember what was it again, on current desktop changed, I keep on confusing, changed, uh, I think it's changed, yeah, it changed. So this will actually, where is it again? This will run when we change the virtual desktop, which is supposed to happen one time. And if we do that like this, and we copy paste this line like 10 times, we go into this, we compile everything that should be compiled. Where was I? Yes, here, uh, Plasma Desktop. Sorry, Plasma Desktop. Make install, I, I need to throw a sudo at it for some reason. Okay, it's working. What we are going to see, because I've already tried this, I'm just adding the lines back because I'll need them in the future today, is uh, just one of that console log turning on every time we know we switch from one place to another. So if we source the prefix and then start the plasma shell like this, now we can change the virtual desktop and then back to here and we'll see two of those things that we've added. Um, yeah, let's give it a second to actually boot up everything. Okay, let's try again. Uh, as you can see, two of them, because we've changed it to this and then back again. Makes sense, sounds good. Then what happens? Well, when this um, desktop changes, let's skip this one. Well, this info is used here. So basically we're saying, hey task man manager, we have task model, and this task model, uh, where is it? Contains all of the window, which are on this virtual desktop, which contains the current desktop. When this changes, it also makes these changes, a change, which actually calls a C++. Today, I, I swear I cannot pronounce a word correctly. When this changes, it calls, it also makes this one change, which calls a C++ function, which I've asked a developer to point out to me because I was not going to find it by myself, but it did, and I know it's a Plasma Workspace lib task manager something something, where this something something is, I've got uh, blah, 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 task filter proxy model, task filter proxy model, um, task filter proxy model, come on, I don't want to use QCreator, stop trying to show it, uh, come on, just use Kate, okay, and there's a particularly, per there's a particular line that interests us, which is, uh, of course, a virtual desktop um, set filter by, no, not, not this one. Um, it was something along these lines. Virtual desktop, yes. Set virtual desktop, okay. So when we change the virtual desktop, this function gets called and it does what you would expect, which is, let's zoom into it, 
check if we actually we are actually trying to set a different desktop than before. If so, we actually change the desktop. And then if we are actually filtering by virtual desktop, which we do, we invalidate the filter, which should, you know, make the filter filter again, which should give us the correct results. And then we emit that the virtual desktop has changed. So now we need to check that this function is actually happening just one time and not two, because that's really the issue. All of this should happen just one time and something happens two instead of one. So we go for, for I don't know, mm, this. And we throw a bunch of it. Okay, so now we need to compile this which is in KDE build KDE workspace plasma workspace lib task manager, make install like this, magic, magic, magic. And then we can slowly, okay, source the prefix and then we start plasma shell. So we can check that it's indeed it's, the, 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 it's indeed only happening one time and right after the console log that we inserted before, which was telling us when the virtual desktop was changing. So we go for it. We give it a couple of seconds and it's already run one time, which makes sense because the first time it actually has to set the initial value for the virtual desktop, even if, the, if even if it didn't change. And then we switch to another one. And what happened? Okay, so we had this, which tells us that the virtual desktop changed. And then with this and this two times. So something went wrong along these lines, apparently, which is weird. It's actually really weird and I have no clue what could be the issue. But we also have to ask ourselves, is actually this the problem? Because maybe it's just running two times, but it's not actually the cause of we getting two different results. So what we have to do is also check what, what this double call causes. So the important part here is this invalidate filter. And I've again asked the developer to tell me what does invalidate invalidate filter do? And where is my message? Where is my message? I asked what does invalid filter call? It sends all of the source model indices through filter filter accepts row. So le let's look for that function and see what it does. So we are going, where is it? Here to the source code of this, we're opening up kfind, which is like the coolest KDE app. And we search for filter accept row which is both in this file and in task model. So let's open up both of them. And first of all, see how it's called here. So we've got filter accepts row, a very small function. It just tells us that it's not actually using source parent at all. And then it just returns accept row source row. What is accept row? What? Okay, so it's this thing. What is this? And this is where I stopped last time. So from this point on is my real, like trying to understand what the hell is going on. So we have a Q model index, which I don't know what it is, or CD, or smart, blah, 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 index, or so, blah, blah, blah. If it's not valid, valid we return. So accept row, source row. I guess we're checking the windows row by row, which is element by element. Makes sense, I guess. 
and filter tasks that are not being shown on the taskbar. Filter task. Okay, so the most important question here is how many times is this function called and when? So same as before. And we go for a uh, um, um, we go for a uh, this was was called with source row and then we throw with it source source row. I'm probably using kdbac wrong. I keep on doing that. If so, sorry. I'll discover pretty soon. So again, lib uh, task manager, make install, and whoops, I mean, never mind. It's just one file. It won't change. And hopefully we'll be able to see. Uh, we also need to restart Plasma Shell. If it's like going through, oh, look at this. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay. So, well, we now that I think about it, we also need to, like, um, that's not, we're not only going to call these things from our panel file. This filter stuff is probably going to be called also from other applets and stuff which makes sense so we can probably we can't probably filter out everything that we want to can i actually open up system settings no, i cannot that's very good let's try to change uh, this and see what happens so now we've got a lot of debugging to do okay so in the qml file here the virtual desktop was changed and then in the c++ file we get the, um, we get, we get, what do we get? The, um, we get a function call to the C++ function to change the virtual desktop. And then we trigger this thingy that actually checks all of the source row, rows. And then lots of other stuff that I don't know, we're probably not the case, cause of. If we think about it, the task manager here down left probably also needs to know about the new windows in the new virtual desktop. Can we actually ask it not to filter by virtual desktop? That might help remove the background noise. So like this. Does this help? <laughs> what have I done? I, I've changed, that was not what I, I want to do, okay. Okay, so now there's still the same amount of noise as before. So, how many windows do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're missing something this list. Okay, ah, oh, come on. Today I'm a bit sleepy. Okay. So let's try to see what actually happens with these source rows. Filter tasks that are not being shown on the taskbar. Fine. Filter tasks that are not to be shown on the pager. Fine. Filter by virtual desktop. This is what interests us. If we are filtering by virtual desktop and we actually have a virtual desktop, if source cd x data abstract as well as it is on the ball and not demanding attention skip filters honestly this thing that demanding attention skips filters annoys me because uh now that i read this line of code i realize that's the cause of another bug of the opacity of the panel We'll see uh, if we can fix that later. Or not, what the hell, this is a super big if. Or not source edX data, blah, 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 blah. 
virtual desktop is whatever okay so we basically check uh if it's okay we basically check let me actually finish the sentence let me uh, it uh, checks whether the list of desktops a window is in because a window could be in multiple virtual desktops well uh, for now it just it just it just fetches the list and then it actually checks whether the list of virtual desktop contains the virtual desktop we are in and if not it returns false which means it filters the row out so what do we do we console dot sorry we queue the bug this sorry um this window was on another virtual desktop very very sad indeed this way we can check whether these um, source rows are true or false and if they're false why are they false maybe it's some reason why the new window is being filtered out even though it shouldn't so now we compile with the same wrong command as before and we check the new output I'm hoping that I'm I'm trying to keep this interesting as much as it's it's possible to keep this interesting. Anyway, we do have our desired output, which is this one. So, as you can see, they are all fil filtered out except the window number three which could be either Telegram or Dolphin. So um, let's like uh, check, Wait. let me do this. Okay, and if you go back, yes, we can see that this window three is indeed surviving and in this case, the window one is survi surviving the filtering, which means that these two windows should, in theory, get to the final count. But looks like they aren't, because we actually receive a zero eventually. So let's see if there's something weird that filters them out. So first of all, we filter by screen. They shouldn't get filtered by screen, so let's add it just for sure. This window was filtered by screen. What? Then we filter by activity. Again, mm, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever right now to filter by activity, but let's check anyway. We filter mm, not maximize, not minimize, not maximize, not minimize, whether they are hidden and if not, and let's add a QD bug here as well. This is the true window to roll them all. And now we actually compile everything and check, well, what's the life of all these windows that we're trying to understand. Uh, where is my maximize window? Let's maximize this one. So we can actually know, test things out with that one. We're start plasma shell. I should not hit accidentally the tripod. Okay. So let's switch up. Okay. Okay changed in virtual desktop changed in the panel virtual desktop changed in the filter and as you can see this was called with SARS row 7 and this is the true window to them all which means that window 7 which I can only guess is system settings survived the counting but then why do we get zero Let's go on. 
so one also seems to survive but uh i don't know there are other filters that like are fine with getting all of the windows and are not actually filtering by anything this one is filtering by screen again this shouldn't interest us there are probably other things what does interest us is this one okay but then what's going on In this case, we can see that all of them gets filtered out because, you know, they're not maximized. And I don't know why, but this dolphin window that we're moving around doesn't count. So there's no other window. Okay. Now that we know that this function is working, What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue. Task filter, proxy model, task model. Do we have the same... What is it? Do we have the same uh, filter ac accepts row stuff in here? Accepts row. We do have some filter accepts row in here. Nothing interesting though, at least it doesn't seem to be interesting. <sighs> okay, honestly, I have no clue whatsoever what's going on. Let me do another change to the panel code, which is here, which is to actually check when the numbers are going wrong. And to do that, we get to the function I was talking about before this, which is here. And when it gets called, we console.log the amount, uh, I don't know, like, let's go with we, like this. The amount of good windows is and then this. So we can actually check what is the amount of windows that our panel code is receiving and when it is receiving them. So we can, you know, check that out with the code. This was in Plasma Desktop, so we need to compile that one. Okay, my password. Okay, if we do not understand anything from that, we are going to get to add that end because I don't know what else could we check honestly. So let's hope that something pops up here. Again, it's setting up stuff we don't really interest. Uh, we don't really have any interest in this. We go up and see what happened. Okay, so okay, so where are we? okay, we have the QML file change, we have the virtual desktop change in the QML, we have all of this stuff, and at the end, the amount of good windows is one, which is correct, because you know what I forgot, that these bugs only happens when going from a virtual desktop that's full to another virtual desktop that's full. And I'm going from an empty one to a full one. So of course I won't get the bug. So let's get back and open up a window here. Something that's not like super laggy, please. I have hundreds of windows open at this point. Okay, so let's see if we manage to get the bug like this. Let's read the log. There's more stuff happening this time. Okay, look at here. Panel changes, C++ changes. We filter windows. 
7 is the true window through them all. We get the value from the panel and it's zero. And then nothing nothing happens, nothing, at, and it immediately becomes one. I don't know. Honestly, this is upsetting. Honestly upsetting. How much, how long is this devlog? 30 minutes. I think that's a good length for a devlog. I'll stop it here and maybe do a second one on this because I don't want to get make them too long. So see you in the next one and, you know, donate, stuff like that. Bye.